my name's James Cameron. I work for HSBC here in Singapore and I'm the co-head of our infrastructure and real estate group for Asia Pacific. A key requirement to focus on the delivery of the infrastructure projects that Asia needs to ensure that the structural enhancements to economies are being made to allow those economies to move through the next phase of their growth cycle. Transportation infrastructure, so that's rail, roads and ports, to ensure that there is greater connectivity within or between countries and within countries to facilitate the flow of both people and goods. Uh, the same for airports, the same for, for ports. Also, we need power infrastructure to ensure that there is a, a consistent and reliable source of power both to people and to, uh, and to corporates. Significant opportunities within the, within the infrastructure space and those are at a few different levels. So there is the opportunity to be part of a, an investment group into a, a particular infrastructure project. There is, there is possibility to be part of a development group within a, an infrastructure project. And then infrastructure projects have a very long list of requirements, whether it's capital goods, whether it's services, whether it's contractors. And there, there's a very large ecosystem of opportunities, both for our international clients and importantly, our domestic clients in these countries where these infrastructure projects are being delivered. I think we are we're positive in terms of emerging market growth outlook. So yeah, that means positive for ASEAN. We think probably those companies that are well placed to benefit from the expected infrastructure growth are um, you know, our companies that we as an institution would like to support going forward.